here it is a much anticipated review of the Land Cruiser trailer in its glory just doing the average day's work you get your Chinese trailers with your 14 inch Holden wheels this thing's got split rims and the tyres it was always made to carry the Dunlop SP Road Grippers same tyres on my very first Land Cruiser this thing's not easy to reverse because of that long um, draw bar so as recommended by the builder select low range and reverse in low range and it's definitely a lot easier recent modifications by me is a new number plate because this thing absolutely squishes number plates even though it has got a custom bloody hinge on it still managed to squish the last number plate the donor car originally came came in a 4.2 litre diesel forget your Hilux with their constantly updated engines and whatever else they put in them it's come off a six cylinder cruiser LED lights what a feature all right so that's the morning's work for me it's red gum um, I'd, I'd say there'd be a ton in there with, without any shadow of doubt that's the most you really are allowed to take in one day here and for all my Labour Party friends and members of the Greens here in wonderful Victoria well I am in the State Forest right now yes and thanks to our Aboriginal State Forest Rangers we have lots of wood on the ground for me to harvest they're the best uh, Rangers I've ever seen the Indigenous Australian Rangers so that's for all the Labour Party people that don't watch this channel and the Greens I burn firewood um, what other features have we got oh, I've got a spare wheel mounted up the front I'm always told it's gonna be impossible to get at if I get a flat but I've never had a flat these things are giant absolutely giant wheels and tires um, and these came off a donor would have come off a donor vehicle that was probably originally a troop carrier um, because my mate who made the trailer used to tow this for the troop carrier and now that he um, can't tow it no more it's getting towed by my 79 it tows really well um, it's just got hydraulic brakes which are really adequate I would like to swap them over for electric brakes that may be a uh, project down the track I think because the car's got electric, uh, the Land Cruiser's got electric brakes um, yeah it's a pretty smick construction it was well engineered it was made in Omeo and you know it's got very heavy duty springs that's a full load now it doesn't even move what else what other features well it's just like having two utes uh, you've got the original latches it's not a high up tray like I've got in the back of my ute and apart from the reversing which is a bit tricky it tows beautiful and it tows really well and given it's got those giant wheels and tires on it um, yeah it's gonna rain here tomorrow and I'll probably come out again the day after I won't have any trouble getting out here with this thing uh, this thing tows really well you can still buy parts for it which is crazy off a company called Land Cruiser Spares you can still buy the little side steps, you can buy the wheel holder. Um, I think you can still buy the mud flaps. I have got a set of new mud flaps at home. One day I'll put them on. And I think you can get tailgates and stuff, but they're not cheap. These are still um, being made over in South Africa. So they do come to Australia, but uh, this would have been originally on a 75 series. I've been offered money for it. Someone doing up a 75 wanted it, but what am I going to use for a trailer? Am I going to buy a Chinese trailer with holding 14 inch wheels? I don't think so. It'd look weird behind that. So, yeah, I just thought I'd do a video of it. They're a bit unusual. Um, I hope Mr. Land Cruiser is watching this. 
This land cruiser is probably saying sacrilege. That should be going on the back of a 75. I'll come down and pick it up tomorrow. But the thing is, I'd be lost without it. Like I'm sure the original owner was. They went up to bloody um, army trailers. He bought a couple of those big teen of army trailers. But this sort of suits me. Um, there's a couple of hours work. And it'll be easy to unload. I don't have to worry too much about it moving around in the back because it's it's a ute. Yeah. So I've been meaning to do a, a video of this for some time. And, uh, you know, it hasn't had much things done to it. I've touched up the paint here and there. It's got no rust in it. The, um, the actual trailer part is huge. It is full on heavy duty. Um, it's registered to carry um, one ton and it's got a little plate on it. Yeah, all that stuff's there. All you keyboard warriors that wonder about these things, there it all is there. Oh, it is registered. Um, yeah, like I said, it was made up in Omeo and uh, it's gone through everything. It's been over engineered to the max, like everything else that was made up there. And uh, yeah, I just kind of dig it. I really do. And I will get these wheels painted. I promised myself I'd get these wheels painted. They are split rims. You gotta know what you're doing when you take them off. But I did promise myself I was gonna get them painted. And yeah, that, that'll be something I will do down the track for sure. They deserve it. This one's obviously been painted at some point in its life. They are the six stud pattern. I prefer that to the Hilux pattern. Um, yeah. So something maybe a bit unusual. Uh, I have seen another one of these at Menangatang, which is only 50 k's from where I am right now. Had some dirt bikes in it. Pulled up one day next to him and we had a bit of a yarn. So these used to be readily, readily available, these, these tubs. But not anymore. Not anymore. And uh, I think this one will probably see me out unless someone gives me a, a huge offer to buy it. And uh, yeah. So this is what it looks like empty. Just in case you've never seen it yet. And gives you a bit of an idea what you can fit in it. So oh, it's pretty big, just like having a second yet. And big day blue dog. Just give you a bit of a look what we've been doing with it today. It's about 35 today. Pretty warm day. But it's gonna cool down really quick and that gives you an idea what that you can do. some of the wood.